Hey guys, it's OMJ Halloween, and today we're at the Home Depot to check out your Halloween lineups. Let's get inside. So for today's tour, we will be moving from left to right. So that being said, let's check out their Play Doctor. They weren't kidding when they said lifelike movement. I love this guy's animation. And behind Plague Doctor, we have their nine foot deadwood tree. That's creepy, definitely something I want to put in a cemetery or something like that. And next up, we have the Victorian vampire. He's really creepy. Love this one. Next in line, we have the Trickster Trio stack. It's the perfect night for the That is one unique stack of clowns, love them. And right in front of them we have one of their first ever licensed animatronics, their three foot Chucky. As a dog, I'm infamous, I'm one of the most victorious slashes in history, but I don't want to keep that up. I am Chucky, the killer dog, the nice dig it! His servo movements are just insane, love that. Now we can't forget about either of these stacks, the huge eight and a half feet pumpkin stack and the eight foot skull stack, both of which are awesome. Now we're on the right side. The first one in the line is their soul slasher. He's pretty cool. His arm has to be servo with how fast it moves. Now closer to the front, we have Slither of Souls. She does have an updated outfit. Let's check out her activation. She's really creepy and for the price of 100, I'd call that a fair price. Here we have the 12 foot skeleton and his best friend, the 7 foot skeleton dog. 
both of them have the starry eyes option enabled. I love the also the eyes that they both have. Everything is super realistic aside from the proportions, obviously, but that's what makes them creepy. Now, right behind the skeleton dog, we have the marionette witch. She's like Bobby Strings, pretty creepy props. And right behind her, we have their grave digger. You He is a remake of last year's Gravedigger and he is always awesome. Now, let's check out their licensed Frankenstein. He is awesome. The servo heads, the moving arms are all great touches. And right next to him, we have the bubbling, oozing cauldron. Let's check that out. You can see some pretty cool details, like some skulls and a hand on there, along with some bubbles. It's pretty cool for a cauldron. And right over here, we have the six foot five Jack of Spades. Let's check him out. Now let's check out some of the stuff they have back here. Straight off the bat, I can notice their skull archway. This is definitely an interesting sight, an archway on the shelves. They have some awesome stuff back here like projections. This one is super creepy. They even have more like the LED fire illusion projector. I'm unsure why it's green, but that really does look like fire. Spiders. That is oh so cool. Now we have some animatronic or static stock starting off with the skeleton dog. Two skull stacks, a bone archway, a couple grave diggers, four in specifics, one plague doctor, three soul slashers, three Frankensteins, two Victorian vampires, three jack of spades, one pumpkin jack-o'-lantern archway, a few of these murderous maple trees, a couple of pumpkin stacks, another plague doctor, another two plague doctors, five more trickster trio stacks, and they also have some really cool other animated stuff like this talking skull. That's pretty cool. It is very interesting to see a latex skull. I'm used to the plastic ones. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed recording. Thank you guys again. See you next time.